Hi guys, so I've got something to show you. It's the Raspberry Pi kit from Maplin. It's this thing here. Uh, I won it in a competition, believe it or not, but I thought I'd show you it. So I'm sure some of you have seen it in the shops. It's about uh, 80 quid for this one, I think. Uh, and it comes with a whole host of accessories just to get you started. That's the whole idea. Um, that it comes with a keyboard, it comes with a mouse, it comes with an SD card preloaded with, um, I think it's called Raspbian, Raspbian? Whatever it is, it's Debian distro uh, and it's called Wheezy, I think. Let's have a look, it says it on here somewhere, yeah. Preloaded with Raspbian Wheezy OS. So it's almost ready to go, you could just plug this in. It comes with an HDMI cable, it comes with power, um, everything you'll need. It even comes with um, a Wi Fi USB nano dongle. So what I'll do is I'll unbox this for you and show you what it's all about. I also bought an accessory for this already because uh, I knew it was coming. Um, and it's a breakout board for the GPIO little slot things. It's just like an Arduino really. It's a lot more powerful, um, but it has less outputs as far as I know. But we'll see. We'll go through it and have a look. So here it is. Let's get it open. I haven't actually explored the, what's in here yet, so uh, we've got a quick start guide. Which looks like it's just for starting up the OS and something. I never really read those. I think it's for the Wi-Fi network. Oh, here's the SD card that comes with it. We've got if I can get any of these things out. There's uh, the power plug, it's a USB power plug and it's 5 volts, 2 amps. Uh, what's this? Something about safety. Oh, here's the Raspberry Pi itself. Let's get this out. It's quite a lot smaller than I imagined. Uh, so these are the outputs here, I believe. I think so, anyway. I'm not sure. I don't know much about um, the Raspberry Pi. This is where the SD card goes, I think. I'm not sure what all these bits are. But that's that. It's got um, two USB ports. It's got an Ethernet adapter, HDMI. This is the USB power plug just here. Um, the yellow bit here, I don't know what that is. Is that video or is that audio? No, this one's a 3.5mm jack here, so this must be video out. Let's put that to one side. There's a small box here, what's this? Alright, oh, it comes with a, an AC adapter. Is that for the powered, is it a powered USB hub? Yeah, it's, this is a USB hub here. And it's a powered USB hub, it looks like, so you can power your devices from there. So that's very useful. Um, since this only has two USB ports, I think it's quite important that it has a USB hub, so that's good. Let's try and get this out of here. This is a bit confusing. Oh, I'm already tearing the box. There we go. So we've got uh, the micro USB there, lead, so that will go into this power plug if you need to. Unless you've already got one of these, which I've got a few. Um, there's the HDMI cable, so that's be useful for connecting to the TV or to your monitor. And so that's the USB hub. There. And it comes with a mouse as well. It's an optical mouse, a three button optical mouse. And I think the last bit will be a keyboard. Yeah, we've got a USB keyboard in here as well. And that's everything that's included in the box. Let's just go over a few of the back details. 
So what's in the box? It lists everything that's in the box here. It doesn't give you too much information about what the Raspberry Pi can do. But it's got a nice picture on the back. So, should we get it plugged in? I did forget to say that the USB Wi-Fi dongle was in there. It was just sort of hidden away. It's very, very tiny. Um, but this is the Wi-Fi dongle. Right, so that's the Pi plugged in, and it's ready to go. I just need to switch it on. So let's see what happens. So it's going through the kernel or something? The startup routine anyway. Linux isn't really my forte, so I don't know much about it. Now it's going to boot into something reminiscent of a DOS shell, something you'd see on some old computer, but it's just sort of a startup area where you can do various things like expand your SD card. Oh, it's asking me for a login. Uh, I don't know what this is. Login incorrect. Crumbs. Okay. Is there a password? Oh, I started this up before and then started again. Oh dear. <clears throat> ah, okay. So the default password Login and password is pi and raspberry. So that, that should help there. Now, when you load up, it'll normally come up with uh, this screen. When you load up for the first time, this screen here. Now, reminiscent of a, a DOS shell. Now, you can do various things here. You can expand the root FS, and I'm going to do that now. And what that's doing is it's looking for the free space on the SD card and filling it up with the Debian installation, well, with the Raspbian installation so that it has more space to use. So it's done that now. And it needs to reboot, so I'm just going to turn it off and on again. I'll speed this up for you. Right, so we're back to the login. Now when you get to this screen here, um, you're going to want to jump into the GUI straight away um, if you're using this for the first time, I'm sure. Some people are really clever with Linux and won't need to do that, but I'm not. So start X is the appropriate thing to type. I hope. And we've already got a cursor and the mouse is connected so I can move that around. And here we go. I'm assuming, well, actually, I don't know how to use uh, Linux, but there's Wi Fi config here. We've got the Wi Fi dongle plugged in. There's Scratch here, which I have seen a um, seven or eight year old create a game on, which is pretty impressive. Um, I'm sure it can surf the web and everything like that. But that's it. That's basically. Uh, the very simple Raspberry Pi, and I'm extremely impressed with it and very thankful for Maplin for, for Maplin sending it to me as a prize, so really appreciate that. Um, let's have a look at the, the accessory that I got. So here's the accessory that I got for the Raspberry Pi. Um, it's a GPIO breakout board. Uh, let's just get it open. Seems to have opened up very well. So what I've got is a small breakout board and it's got these uh, little pin things. I'm not quite sure what you'd call these, but the idea is that you put the wire in, pull this back and then put it back in so that it holds the wire for you. So 
part of this, it removes part of the breadboard that you need to put these pins in. So you, these can come out straight to another breadboard. Um, one of these cables plugs into here. Oh, other way around. So that plugs straight into there, connecting all of these lines to the various pin jumper bits there, not called jumpers. And this bit goes straight into the Raspberry Pi. And it means you get out all 26 of the GPIO pins. So, well, they're just they're expansion pins on the, the, uh, the Raspberry Pi. And you can connect those to LEDs, to motors, and it really makes the, the sort of idea of tinkering around with the Raspberry Pi a lot easier because they are just pins jutting off. They're not headers. There's no headers on there or anything like that. So I think one of these, these this cost me about £10, I think. I'm sure it's available cheaper, um, but it's about £10 from a company called New IT, I think, and it was on um, Amazon. So I would highly recommend one of these or... Um, there's the tea cobbler, I believe, by Adafruit, and that's also a good one. So you may want to have a look at those. That one, the tea cobbler plugs directly into the breadboard uh, along a line so that it breaks out all the pins onto to separate um, breadboard holes. So you might want to look at that. All right, well, thanks a lot for watching, and please comment if I've got anything wrong. It's entirely possible I have because I've only just opened this thing, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But It'll give you an idea of how easy it is to get started with a Raspberry Pi. If I can do it, then, then you can as well.